I'm Chase Briscoe, driver number 14 Ford Mustang for Stuart Haas Racing, and you're watching William Blackwell on YouTube. This past week for 23 and 11 racing, things have been very complicating, very confusing, very stressful if you're affiliated at all with the organization. Because team owner Denny Hamlin is going up against Martin Truex Jr., his teammate at Joe Gibbs Racing for the regular season championship. And the regular season championship awards you 15 playoff points. And more than likely, if you win this championship in the regular season, you're more than likely guaranteed at least in the round of 12. The round of 16 is more than likely going to be a breeze unless you mess up big time. So, Denny Hamlin is still in a tough battle. Uh, Tyler Reck for 2311 Racing is guaranteed into the playoffs. He won at the Circuit of Americas back in March. So he's going to be playing the teammate role and make sure either his teammate uh, Bubba Wallace makes it in and also make sure his owner, Denny Hamlin, wins the regular season championship. They're going to play the team game over there. Bubba Wallace, like I mentioned, he's going for the last playoff spot. He has to do good. He cannot afford for a new winner. Uh, without one, I don't think no one's going to outpoint him unless he's in a big wreck early on. And Ty Gibbs is not because I want to see Ty Gibbs pointing his way in. Everyone else has to win their way in. But the point is, though, they've been having all that go on and take place. And on the side, there's been talks on 2024. Because in 2024, their contract is up. And they're going to be up, uh, probably renewing with Toyota or looking elsewhere. And we have all seen rumors of Ford. And by no means, this, not mean, this does not mean Ford is a definite answer and Chevy's out of the picture because everything is still available. Ford held tops with 2311 Racing back in Michigan just a little over two weeks ago. And it was just there to happen in case something were to go on in 2024 where they needed a backup plan. And I believe this would be a solid backup plan, and here's why. Stewart Haas Racing, at the end of the 2024 season, heading into 2025, they're going to have to make a big decision whether or not to stay with Ford or to move on because the contract is up. Right now, they're clearly one of the uh, worst four teams out there. So if they're wanting to become competitive again, more than likely that may require a manufacturer change. And is it going to work right off the bat? No. But it's going to take time, but I'm sure they're willing to invest the time and to be successful in championship contenders year in and year out. So Ford's going to want to pick up a team, and 2311 Racing could very well be the team. But though they may not have the charters they need for Denny Hamlin, if you will. So what may happen, in my opinion, in my opinion only, I bet you they're going to build a powerhouse. And Stuart Haas Racing has been rumored to sell at least one, if not two, of their charters. So let's say this is how things are going to play. Let's say 2311 Racing buys one. The same Smith goes full time in that ride alongside Tyler Reddick and Bubba Wallace. And then Denny Hamlin drives the 10 car. And at the end of 2024, the season's up, they sell the charter to Denny Hamlin. And 2311 Racing becomes a four-car team, and Denny Hamlin moves up for there. And Stewart Haas Racing goes to, like, Chevy. I don't think Toyota is going to be on their radar because Toyota is very, very confusing and very hard to negotiate with. So Chevy is probably going to be the destination for Stewart Haas Racing. And Josh Berry has a Chevy pass. Chase Briscoe is a Ford driver, so we may see something go on there. Uh, but... I don't know. We're looking so far down the road. It, in my opinion, Chase Briscoe going to 2311 Racing is not out the picture if things go as planned, or at least I expect if Stuart Haas goes to Chevy and 23 goes to Ford because Ford is going to want to keep their all-star driver, Chase Briscoe. They're highly invested in him. They know what he can do. So does his fans, and so does a lot of people in the sport of NASCAR. He is a good driver. And they're not going to let him go because right now the Ford development game is kind of lacking. It is not as good as, like they say, Chevy or a Toyota. So they got to up it up. But for right now, they need to keep what they can have in the in house before they send it off. 
And that's all I got to say. Please like and subscribe.